Welcome back to another video. Share the content of Carl's Garage today. We're doing a Carl's Garage video today. Kind of cool as you can see. You might have seen him before. My my barber Danny. We're doing it. We're gonna black out his truck. All the all the trim on his uh, on his F-150. We're gonna black out the trim so that he's moving it right now, so that we can kind of pull it into the garage. Sorry for all this wind. It's super windy, but yeah, that's what we're doing today. I got all the. We're actually gonna be using Hyper Dip. So Hyper Dip is uh, it's a shiny dip. It's not like regular Plasti Dip, so it has a, a higher shine to it. You don't need any like uh, like shine coat over it or any gloss coat over it. So check out this video while we do that. And uh, this is how you black out your trim and uh, we're gonna see how this Hyper Dip stuff works. So let's go ahead and go inside. All right, so we're gonna go with this shiny. This is gonna be hyper dipped right here. This part up here is gonna be hyper dipped and then all in here is gonna be matte black to kind of give it some contrast. And then what about this piece down here? Matt. Matt, yeah. that's Danny. Make sure you guys go follow Danny on Instagram and YouTube, cutting up with Dan. Um, so matte, matte, shiny, and then what else? Anything down the side? I don't have my wheel. I would take if I had my eraser wheel, I could take it off. How you doing? You said what again? Black it out. Didn't you say something like this or something you wanted? Doing well. I got tape. Okay, so kind of tape that off, black out all that area in there, and then leave the rest. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll tape that off. I didn't even know you have one. And then leave the platinum the way it is? Yeah. Kind of just black around it? Yeah. All right. All right, let's get to it. I'm going to set up the camera and start. Okay, so what I'm doing right now, I have to clean up uh, all the Plasti Dip that's kind of peeling from the last coat. And what I'm using to do that is... If you don't have any paint thinner, you can use some nail polish remover. Again, it's rubber, so this stuff is used to kind of taking off paint. And even though it's a rubberized, even though it's rubber, it's still a paint. So you just just small dabs of this. And as you see, I kind of already started. Got that black on there. And you just kind of rub it off to kind of smooth it all out. Then when you go over it with rubbing alcohol, it'll be a lot smoother and then whenever you spray it, it those little pieces they won't they won't lift up the new plastic bit. All right, guys, so I got Danny recording me. Appreciate that. He's back and he hooked me up with some trash bags. So this way, the overspray, because it's really super windy, so this way the overspray doesn't go too much on his truck, but it's not that bad. You can just wipe it off with a rag. You can get it off of there. If you, if you do this, don't wash your truck or don't wash any areas for a while. Let the, let the uh, plastic get pure. We actually have a heat gunner over there on a extension cord, so if we wanted to speed this process up, we could spray it, then heat it, spray it, then heat it, spray it, then heat it, and it'll kind of cure it a lot faster. I'm gonna try to spray in between the wind gusts. Luckily, this thing sprays pretty well, though, I ain't gonna lie. 
It looks like it's blowing. Uh, start from here. The first coat, so I still have to do a first coat all on this section, so it's going to be very light. Just a mist coat for the first one. Then probably like two or three wet coats after that. All right, guys, so we're all done here. It's not really showing it justice in the garage, but this is all done. I think we put like five or six coats. It says six to eight, but there's plastic dip underneath, so it might shine a little bit more if you have, if you're spraying it on like metal versus like regular plastic dip, but it's to the shine that he wants because the matte is definitely going to be matte. So there will definitely be some contrast in what he's looking for. So I'm gonna take all this stuff off and then we're gonna put stuff behind the grill so that we don't spray in his intercooler and everything like that and the condenser and stuff and we're gonna go ahead and matte black anything that you see chrome he's also over here debadging no 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 you don't use a screwdriver <laughs> you don't got any fishing line i seen a fishing pole over there yeah yeah all right so i'm gonna help him get this off right now and then we'll try to get the glue off underneath it So we put some plastic bags and we put like a folder to block the intercooler so that we don't spray any um, plastic dip into the intercooler. Got some bags covering the radiator. It's either a transmission cooler or oil cooler or something like that, condenser or something. And uh, yeah, so we're all covered, so we're gonna close it gently. Now we can spray. So I'm just gonna matte black all of this and that down there. I'm gonna tape off a little different areas this way. Oh no, didn't you want? No, you just want yeah, the, whole the whole thing? Yeah, didn't you the whole thing? Like all this? No, I mean, just the grill. Just this part? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's already matte. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I didn't know if you wanted to go over it or not. All right, bet. Yep, so we're gonna do that piece right there and that part right now.
All right, guys, so we're all set with the F-150 logo on the side. We're gonna go ahead and try to peel this. It should peel all in one piece. Peel the tape first. Peel this next. And because it's a line, it should just peel with it. You want to make sure you spray it enough so it peels evenly. This is what happens if I don't spray enough, but I think I sprayed enough to peel it. Yeah, there we go. All my ASMR fans, this is for you. There we go. Oh, I didn't get this. I didn't get this little piece in there. Let's try to get that out. I'm gonna try to get that little piece out, but all this right here just rubs out. You just rub this out with a rag. Any rag will just rub that out. That looks a lot better than before. Let's go ahead to the rest of the truck. Okay, we're almost done with the truck. All we got left to do is this part right here. He wants to kind of, as you can see, um, this is what happens whenever you don't peel Plasti Dip wet. If you don't peel it wet, you get this. So we had to retape it off. You see this side is kind of, we got to redo this. This side is kind of good. We're just going to just kind of fill it in right there. We got a razor blade, but we shouldn't have to use it. I should be able to get this uh, strip again, paint it. I'm going to just shoot it heavy, wet, and then peel it wet, and then it should be good. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, guys, so as you can see, this is it. Looks really good. Just a little couple of spots, a little high spots right there. I'm going to get those with a Q-tip and some uh, nail polish remover. You always see all the overspray, but it just kind of, all you need is a rag. Regular washcloth, take your washcloth, kind of just rub it, and the overspray just comes right off. It's easier than paint. I already did that side, as you can see. The camera looks really good, so it looks like we just gotta touch up some different areas here and here. You might be good at it with the Danny's gonna touch up these spots. He's gonna touch up these spots with a uh, fingernail polish remover. Try to even it out. Some spots are imperfect, but you know, you gotta make it do what it do. Danny, you gonna do it? Knock it down a little bit? You gonna knock it down a little bit? What's that? These little spots. Yeah, yeah. Just cause I'm, I know you're nice with the razors. Here you go. That was smart. I wouldn't even have to throw it. Yeah. Yep. Take the blade and go around. Oh, okay. Mm, kind of trim it. Yeah. And then just peel it on. Okay, you're going to make one line and just peel it. 
feel the whole thing. Yes, sir. Let's see what it do. It's like right there. Oh. work is working and you started with the razor yes sir start ready to get the oh there we go I'm missing it man trip out that little spot. That's it. The whole truck. Man, it looks good. Especially our camera, too. You know what I mean? Slight little things. How you like it? It's good. Came out like real good. How you like the whole truck so far? Yep. You play with it some more another time. Yep. So let me go take you guys to the front. So... I think we're gonna come back and he might take these off or black them out. This trim right here, I don't know about that yet. Gotta get the eraser wheel to get the glue off. That'll be another project. This is all matte black. This came out really good. This right here is the whole front. The light, let me lighten this up because it really don't do it justice. Like this is, this is really good. This looks crazy. Definitely changes the look of the truck. So we left like a little bit of chrome and with black accents. We also did the bullet. So we also matte black the bullet, which is really cool. Yeah, it looks good. I think all cleaned up, you'll be able to really notice the accented black, all the different pieces. So, that's going to be it, guys. That's going to be it for this Carl's Garage video. We finished it up. We still got a few more things to do. I'm trying to get him to let me do uh, the family truck and then the Lexus over there. I'm trying to get him to let me black everything out, but maybe that'll be in another day. So, that you guys got any other questions or anything about this truck? What year is this truck? Is that what? 13 F-150 Ego Boost. So if you guys got any questions or got any comments or anything, I think next he's probably going to go to Mod Effects and have the headlights done to keep them, uh, kind of just change them. Keep the factory ones, but still kind of change the inside. So that's going to be a dope video. Anything he does with the truck, I will be recording. So just stay tuned for that, guys. You know my slogan, I'm starving, so I'm definitely going to get something to eat. Maybe wife will let me get some Chick-fil-A. I don't know. All right, guys, be basic. Peace.